like I don't like when some women say I'm gonna be submissive for the right guy. What like, does submission you mean to you though? Like what, what cater to my man, run his bath water, <laughs> rub his feet, like cater to you, Gusty Shaw, like <laughs> Especially he's my husband. Like, oh yeah, I wouldn't mind submitting to my husband. Like, you can't turn it on and off though. That's what some women think. Like, well, I'm submissive for the right man. Either you got it or you don't. <laughs> yeah, but then again, you. But then again, you got it. You got to keep in mind. Some females I feel will do that. They'll start out catering to you because yeah. y'all are dating and they yeah. like you and everything is new. But once they get comfortable, it's like. Uh-oh. And I, I hear a lot cool of men that. say that. I remember I told this one guy before I said, um, you know, I'm applying I'm applying pressure to show you that I like you, blah, blah, blah. but he like, don't do that. Like you get comfortable, that shit can end. And I'm like, really? And I thought about like, oh shit, yeah, when you do get comfortable, sometimes it do kind of yeah. That's when I think you should be submissive, is when you get comfortable. Because the thing of it is, this is why women shouldn't be submissive all already. Because for one, they they not, I mean, once they stop, they probably getting tired of being submissive and they just gonna stop. But the reason why a woman shouldn't be submissive so early it's because it's like a lot of men feel like, oh well, I'm getting all this already. Oh, I'm getting yeah. all this already. That's that's why women say I gotta be submissive to the right man. Cause like I feel like woman and man should, should 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 prove themselves to each other as far as being submissive. I yeah. feel like women and men should compromise with each other. You know, I feel like yeah, a woman should be submissive. That's what I So my bad, Casey. I I dis I do agree. I disagree with you know bringing other others to the bedroom. I agree. It's with not for everybody. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not, not for everybody. Yeah. Right, I get it. it's not for everybody. I'm not saying I, I do it either, but <laughs> well, no, I, I respect that. Yeah. But um, I was just saying that monog- monogamy to me is a beautiful thing. Like that that one 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 man thing has always been the most beautiful thing in the world to me because it's like that's commitment. Commitment. Love. Yes. Commitment. Genuine love. Yeah. So yes, I believe in that wholeheartedly. Like I mean, then again, I mean, I, I hear older women say, not they ain't that much older, but you know, I hear women say <laughs> things like, you know, I don't think God, I, I think I don't think God intended us to be alone for the rest of our lives. And that might be true, but at the same time, some people want to stay single for the rest of their lives. Yeah, I'm about to say. Some people don't want to be with anybody, but I believe in monogamy. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, I, I interrupt you. I'm just. It depends on what that person's been through. Like. I got a, you know, a granny and aunties who've been, you know, married for, they haven't dated in like 25 years. I feel like once you get that one person, like you can't find somebody else in my man. Like, I don't, I feel like you could live on, depending on what you went through, though. Somebody who's never experienced love, okay, well, yeah, but people who already did. Well, I get that. I mean, you probably just don't. You probably been you probably been in and out of relationships your whole life. Yeah. You just want to stay single. But I think a lot of guys they want the polygamy relationship, mm-hmm. but like y'all said, a lot of women want just like you said, somebody's probably gonna get jealous. Yeah. Because if she really loves you or likes you, she ain't she don't want to see nobody yeah. else smiling in your face or making you know. But she might feel like that person is gonna come and replace her. Mm-hmm. That's another thing. Yeah, ego. Yeah, that's yeah. ego. But that's I know that's why a lot of guys, even if that's what they want, they'll just settle for monogamy. You know what I'm saying? Where that's not really what they want. And I wouldn't want a man to do that. If you're not, 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 if you're
not if you're not that type of person then don't get in a committed relationship or marriage because they single at that point unless you are if you find somebody who's okay with that then yeah if their parents were married they might want to have marriage if if that's the case i know i met i met men that um that came with a two came from a two-parent home they do want to be married they're just that's, scared. Yeah, they're just not. They're, not, they're not ready yet. That's Shit. what it is. They're not ready yet. Fall in love, they might have to get married. Because dudes lose a lot of money, I think, from marriages. Like, a lot of times, women are the ones divorcing me. And, and I, 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 like I, said, I see both sides. I see why some men these days are scared to get married. I don't blame them. Like I said, most of these women out here got city girls' mindset. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, yeah, it's. Right. <laughs> What's a city girl mindset? No shades in them. I love them. But just, he gotta have money. He gotta have this. I don't want no broke niggas. Or I'm like, but what's broke though? What's just because he? Oh. See, I had to, I had to ask him. I'm like, what do you mean when you say you don't want a broke man? Oh, he gotta make this amount. He gotta make this and that. I'm like, that's not really. Is he working? Like, if he's working, that's not really bro. I can see somebody who's living from, you know, going from house to house, ain't doing shit with his life. Okay, that's a broke person. I didn't realize they were calling people broke or me. Working. Yeah, working <laughs> me and broke. I'm like, that's rude. That means I'm broke. Well, I ain't rich, so I guess I'm broke bitch too, though. But, yeah, 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 but, that's but like, exactly what I'm like that's, that's so I see why men don't want to get married. Everybody because ain't love rich. Them. Everybody ain't Most rich. Most of us not going to ever be. Right. Everybody. But that don't mean we shouldn't deserve love, though. And yeah. I see why men are. you putting a price on. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be the most broke bitch is like, oh, you gotta pay to get this pussy. No, bitch, go get your own money. Like, your baby daddy didn't have no money and you fucked him. Like, what the? Girl, I'm just saying. I'm gonna tell y'all what a wise man once told me. And this is coming out of a man's mouth. Just letting y'all know. I'm just, I'm just quoting him. I'm not agreeing on disagreeing. I just thought it was a really good point. He said, Sometimes you gotta have your cake and eat it too. I'm not agreeing or disagreeing. I just thought it was a really good point. So he said, um, a girl would say her. Yeah. Her youngie is the prize, like it's prize, it's a prize, and you gotta, like y'all said, have this money or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then he looking back, and he was like, he told me, he was like, so how is it a prize if I ain't first place? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh shit, you about to hurt him? <laughs> and I was just like, no, that that he he the the guy that I heard say that he hurting him. But that's the thing, that's coming from a man. Like yeah. that's the thing, women we be hating each other when yeah. really we not. I'm not saying hate the man. Don't definitely don't hate don't the man. Hate man. No, I don't hate the man, but I'm saying a woman's supposed to show forth if she's worthy of respect, but a man is going to call it out how he sees it. Exactly. So if he's like, well, how, how, how is it a prize fight first place? You're like, I like that. What? I heard that. Because I said. Those be the ones with the most highest like requirements for a man, and I'm like, why are you... Why are you judging him and you let about three dudes nutting you? <laughs> who you barely even knew. Like. Because they had money or they had a Benz or something. That's crazy. And not even sometimes. That too. That too. I don't want to say this either. Lord, no, I'm not going to say it. But. Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, I'm not about to get pregnant by a man if I got to be on welfare after I get pregnant by him. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, like, but then those are the ones who sometimes expect a man to have, their next man to have money. And it's like, but y'all, baby's fathers didn't have none of that shit. And you still let him nothing you. It Literally still it let was him. probably a misconception of love somewhere in there. It had to be. It had to be. True. But I'm, three times? Maybe. I'm three just, different niggas? Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, think about it. Think about when you were a teenager. Ain't nobody got no that, damn now, now let me ask you this. Teenagers, some of them are grown ass women. Still. Okay, okay, from teenager yeah. to okay, let's say young, let's say like young adult post post high school, mm-hmm. post graduation of high school. Nah, baby, 18, got plus. No, I'm saying, but listen, yeah. think, think about them. Yeah, I mean, we come out of high school, you ain't gonna have it all together. But people be in love, they be carrying, they be keeping their high school mm-hmm. sweetheart on to their adulthood. That could be love, but then after that, they like they probably changed it up and saying, "Oh, forget it. I might as well give it a man with money." I'm like, "Well, honey, you should listen to your parents and thought about that before yeah, you let that man do whatever." Mm-hmm. Just because the dude have money mm-hmm. don't mean it's just gonna work. That's another. Hello, thing. thank you. Like, what if he's like yeah. abuse, abusive or just right. I don't yeah, know. That's like most dudes that are established like that, mm-hmm. they will probably have a, a different kind of way of. How they want their girl, you know what I'm saying? He gonna control your ass. Of their girl. And that's if I'm paying all the bills you know for you, bitch, I'm controlling you. I'm about to say, like, 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 <laughs> like, okay, look, <laughs> listen, you, huh? 
Yeah, women yes. are like the alpha woman, alpha woman, alpha woman. I was about to say, um, this is gonna sound stupidly crazy. Even though, of course, everybody would, wouldn't mind dating a rich person, but yeah. rich men kind of scare me a little bit because I'm looking like, dang, you gon' you gon' play for Trump, you gon' feel like you can do they whatever you want because too. they got the money to do it, right? So which yeah. Women, yeah, rich women is it's like that too, but it's just like for me because I'm a woman and I love men. It's like, damn, like. Rich. Then I just know, like, as a dude, <clears throat> not saying I'm rich. <laughs> One day. When you have money, <laughs> okay, okay, but it's, it's like women expect you to spend it on them. Like, they're like, oh, I know you got it. So. But don't advertise it, though. That's the issue. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. That's even if you not don't advertise, advertise it, uh-huh. they still feel like if you had a certain, or if, he, if she feel like, you know, he's of a certain stature, then I can, uh, he's a good catch or he's somebody I need to. I don't choose a garbage man. What they make? They make good money. Truck driver. Or a bartender. If he treats me well, I'm going to date him. No matter if I make 90K. Like, I'm not here yet. Your should not qualify on how many girls you should talk to or who you should be with. Exactly. I'm big on Maybe because I was humble. I don't know. Like, I don't know. My mom just didn't raise me like that. Like, this dude I know, uh, he a lawyer. Uh And him and his girl end up breaking up. And he thought, because he's a lawyer, she can't upgrade after she leaves him. And I'm like, that's ego, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, all, that's all your ego. Like, and he's still like, no, I mean, I'm a, I'm a lawyer, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, she ain't going to find another, unless she find another. And I'm like, so you mean tell me if she find another lawyer, does that mean she's not better than you? You know what I'm saying? So basically, basically he making it like his occupation. And makes him a good catch. No, that's not a good like, catch. Because no, I've known, like, I've known successful. <laughs> I've known successful men. A lot of them aren't committed. To, oh, my God. A lot of them aren't, um, what's that word I'm looking for? A lot of them are cheaters. Mm. Because yeah, back in the day, options. yeah, they have a lot of options. A lot of them said they only got married for the image. Mm. That's why I tell them, are you sure you want these type of men? And these would be the ones who post up, you know, make, you know, uh, large, large posts. Big posts about their uh, significant others, but they in the bar or club trying to get, you know, different women. Or fucking strippers and stuff like that. So I tell them, are you sure you want that? Like, I don't, if that's what it's going to be, I don't need a successful man. <laughs> that's I'll why. take a bartender. Like, that's. They make good money though. Bartenders make good money. <laughs> no, they do though. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Like that's crazy to even think like a bartender is like a downgrade. It ain't. Not it saying that that's yeah. what I'm saying. Some city girl probably saying, I ain't gonna date no nigga that bus tables a lot of lot, you know what I'm saying? Where if he actually got, you know, a plan. Yeah, then damn. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you miss an opportunity. I was about to say, you, you miss a big ass opportunity. Those are the ones who are more humble to me. The ones who have like the, the low, I don't want to say low paying jobs, but like the jobs that people don't think like oh, makes you successful. Yeah. For a while. Yeah, because I know I've dated a guy who uh, worked at McDonald's. He was good as hell with his money. He only made like, what, $8 an hour at that time. So that time, that was a long time ago. <laughs> I like a man that has jobs and, be, and it's like the thing is to me an upgrade that's what I'm saying an upgrade to me is how well somebody ter- I mean how, how much somebody loves you genuinely to me that's an upgrade one one thing I want in this world is love I'm a Leo like we Leos mm-hmm. what we do is have big hearts big yes, we hearts do. Yes, we, do. we love people can say whatever the fuck they want about us but mm-hmm. we love hearts the name of mother oh my god two hearts sometimes two hearts two Leo's y'all yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> birthday twins it's so hard yes yeah, literally birthday twins it's so hard like it's like I said I, I blame my family they raised me like this <laughs> just to have a good heart and you too Yes. Because uh, my family, uh-huh. like, you better treat people right. Treat people yeah. want to be treated. Don't dog nobody out because of this. I, I'm a little too nice, <laughs> I think. Just a tad bit. But when we when we get our feelings hurt, oh, we yeah. done. We oh, done. We done. Yeah. And y'all, that's another. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Y'all have that motherly, like, uh, personality. Like, mm-hmm. Y'all like to teach other people what y'all know. Yeah. And, and take care of who y'all love. 
Can I can I say something though about that? Ooh. A lot of men aren't used to that though. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Like, you know, when you're affectionate with them, a lot of them are shocked. I don't like that. Like, that's why are you shocked with me giving you a kiss on the forehead or giving you a kiss on the cheek? Because a lot of men haven't had that. Like, my mom wasn't like that. She gave me a hug. I love you. But hardly any I love you or uh, affection like that. She would say she loved me, but every now and then, every two moves, but it wasn't a regular thing. Yeah, but they've been I'm married to, to women. I'm talking about they've been married to women too who weren't affectionate. Oh, I'm like, well, why did you marry her then? If she's not nurturing or giving you feminine energy, what the hell did you marry her for then? Men aren't used to it. They're but then again, another thing is they don't. They don't, uh, like you said, women to start out doing it, and then they'll stop. And that's when the men will, like, they looking for that when somebody else. I'm forever affectionate, even if I'm mad at you. It's just my family's sick of it. Like, <laughs> I am, they tired. I, they like, she always giving us kiss on the cheek, always hugging her. That's just, that's my personality. No matter if I'm, no matter if I'm mad or anything, no matter if I'm bitter, even at my lowest point in my life, I was still always affectionate. If can't nobody say nothing else about me. They can say Casey was a bitch, but I, but I was always affectionate. Always. A little too affectionate sometimes. That's Man, just me. Like, that's my cool. mama. My yeah. mama used to fight me off when I hug her. My sister and my yeah. mama, they hate hugs. And I'll be all, they be like, oh my gosh, Eddie, get the fuck out. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I just want to hug. Like, but that's me. I'm over affectionate. Yeah. I believe in hugs. Mm -hmm. Even though I feel like. And another point I want to make as far as like the non-affection people. Mm -hmm. See, my great grandma Lou, God bless and rest that beautiful woman's soul. Mm -hmm. God bless and rest both of my great grandma souls. Mm -hmm. But like my great grandma Louise, she was not affectionate, and which made which made my grandfather not affectionate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what they did, even though they didn't do the hugs and kisses, I love you. Mm -hmm. They they showed their love in so many yeah, different ways. Different ways you can show love. Right. It. So that's why I said yeah. if if I never get told I love you, but the man consistently shows genuinely how much he loved me. I don't have to hear I love you all the time. Like if you if you actually yeah. show me you care, you genuinely care, mm -hmm. I'ma show you that I genuinely care. I'ma get I'ma throw some hugs and kisses with it, but yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, but I, I believe I'ma annoy the hell out of you with right. kisses and hugs. Even if I'm mm -hmm. mad at you. Don't the first three years we get married, that past that honeymoon stage, I'm still gonna be affectionate. <laughs> like that's just my personality. Like I said, can't nobody say nothing else about me except this bitch is uh, overly affectionate. That's what they can say. I mean this bitch. This uh, I was gonna just say, like, just speaking of affection, like mm -hmm. me having a daughter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think helped me learn to show more affection, be more affectionate. So, like my daughter, I, I always try to show her that side of me. You know what I'm saying? She's so cute, y'all. <laughs> I just say. That's a good thing, you know what I'm saying? That ain't a bad trait to have, being yeah. over affection, because that's not that common out here. And that's so, sad, because it's like, yeah. well, what are y'all doing? I mean, because these women are, <sighs> okay. They say a lot of these women these days are no-limit soldiers, <laughs> but a lot of these no-limit soldiers are pregnant, though. <laughs> or they have kids, so y'all seen something in them. <laughs> like, <laughs> obviously. Uh, some of them have big booties and a nice figure, and that's, Enough yes. to get yeah, them pregnant. True. You know oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> mm, yeah, but nobody should be complaining. Like, yeah, forget the no booty chicks, right? We just, <laughs> we don't matter. No, we right, don't matter. No booty chicks. <laughs> we don't matter. No booty chicks get there. I'm just saying the ones that don't have that traits, you know what I'm saying? We get overlooked. Because I, I, I dated this one guy. Uh, he was like, Your skin is soft. And I'm like, Well, duh, I'm a woman. He was like, Oh, you're friendly. To I'm like, I am a woman. This is what we're supposed to be, and how we're supposed to be. Like, I'm, you're supposed to have that nurturing spirit. Like, that's how we were made. And I'm like, what you mean you can't find that? And that's what killed me. Like, women that, like, was always, like, not approachable or mm -hmm. mean, like, you can tell they haven't had that type of uh, love to share or express oh, yeah. it. They always got their, you know, wow. don't come up, no talk to them. Again, that, 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 that stem, that stems that's from, damage. and that stems from even back in slavery days. That's a lonely life. Like. That is, and a lot of them don't want to be alone. That's the thing. I had to learn that. Like I say, my traumas kept me alone at one point, too. Oh, yeah. I can admit that. Like, it's, I don't, but it should never leave you, though. 
no matter what you've been through, like I don't think that should stop you from finding love because deep down inside you really want that. And if you, my thing is, you if you telling me if you found a good person, you're I'm not gonna, gonna take. You. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, what would, <coughs> what would the perfect guy right now be to you? Like, oh, shit. Or how would a guy go about approaching you right now? Just say hi. How are you? Don't say nothing disrespectful. Just say, hey, what's up? Just be yourself. But it's not like, hey, bitch, what's up? Uh, bye. But just say Can't hi. Can't be saying that. Huh? Oh, no, no. I'm just oh, saying. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Listen, listen, no. listen, listen. <laughs> they don't uh, approach me like that, no. <laughs> you see, you remember what I told you? Uh, niggas that don't know who you are will yeah. just approach you any kind of way. Because I've got approach in disrespectful ways. And I'm like, uh, excuse you. That ain't how you get my number. Yeah. But then me, a man that will say, hey, how you doing? How you doing? What's your name? Yeah. You got a boyfriend? They, right. And I, if I'm a church, so you got my number. That's yeah. that's how you get my number. Just be a man. Be a gentleman. Yeah, and, even if I'm, and even if I'm not attracted to you, I'm still going to respect you. Hello, like, I respect you. Definitely. As long as you say, hey, how are you? Well, you ain't got to say it. Like, I, just, I just said it like, in a woman way. But all you got to do is say, hey, how are you? What's up? I'm cool with that. And I'll still have a conversation with you. Even if I'm not attracted to you, you can still just talk to me when you have a conversation. Right. Now. People not even used to that no more. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Now, I'm just saying, even though men are used to women rejecting them in real ways, just, okay, this is how, this is what real men do. Okay, that woman just missed out. Move on to the next. You don't have to throw all women in the bag and say they all ain't shit and say we all don't. Re- no, we're all not going to be like that. I went yeah, to the gas station one time. This guy was saying hi to everybody. Literally everybody. He said hi to this one shit. She was like, I got a nigga. He was like, bitch, I wasn't even trying to talk to you. I was being friendly. Like, that's what we're getting to right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, he's just saying hi to you. Like, and these be the women who not even all that in the first place. Like, you just got social media hyped up and shit. Like, a dude can't even say hi to you? I mean, like, just hi. Just say hi. I like, like, like you, but just, you can say hi to me. Like I said, we can sit and have a conversation for hours. But I'm not going to disrespect you just because I'm not interested in you. Right, I remember that happening. Yeah. Trying to say, trying to get this girl attention because she got a piece of tissue stuck on her yeah. shoe. <laughs> and she so, she don't want to, she's trying to ignore me. And I'm yeah. like, all right, well, you go walking around looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Crazy we gotta think. admit, some people do act like they never had sex before, though. Some men do act like they never had sex. So I, I see why some females are on guard. Y'all, like, y'all gotta chill out with all yeah. that extra thirstiness, man. Because a lot of women, they're not attractive. It's not, we're scared. Well, I'm not, but most people are scared. Most women, hell, even some men are scared. You show interest yeah. without being just. Yeah, some people are scared to be friendly because they think that, oh, she wants to dick. Or because she don't want to talk to you like yeah. she's a bad person. Like, yeah, no, listen, I have, re- I have rejected uh, maybe one or two guys that were very attractive, very handsome. But the the arrogance was just yeah, that's a not big turn off. Yeah. But then when I reject and I reject them politely, I don't be saying but you not mean, right, yeah. I'm, like, <laughs> right, I reject them in a polite way, like you know, no thank you, that's all I be saying. And then they be met like they act like they never been told no. Maybe they haven't been told no before. I'm not but, this type of man. No, they don't bitches be told. drop their pants for them or their panties. So yeah, but yeah. I, but I'm not that type. Like yeah. it can, and it be guys that I really be finding like sex with. Okay, Same but then it's here. like I'm not gonna if I feel that arrogance. And they get rejected. They're like, "Hold on, did she just did this bitch just tell me no?" And it's like, <laughs> "I'm sorry." And I'm looking like, first of all, I'm never talking to a bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, first of all, who you calling a bitch? First of all, let's take it back to the Queen of Tiba days. Who you calling a bitch, nigga? <laughs> and I'm be like, no, I mean, no, thank you. And it's like, I don't really, I don't know how to tell a man that, you know, I don't like the arrogance. I just say no, thank you. That's it. Yeah. I'm going, but because I turn and down. So, I turned down some successful men too. I didn't like their attitude. They I didn't like their, yeah, I, don't, I didn't like their approach and how they approached me. And it's like just because you fine as hell don't mean I, I owe you some pussy, like or I owe you my womb or nothing. Like you. <laughs> what the no one of the men, one of the men that was really extremely handsome that I that approached me, you know, yeah. with the with the oh I'm a smash.